I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. We, we got some really interesting news. So let's hop right into it. And well, first news is Pony Papercraft book with MLP manga style release. So let's see what's this. <laughs> okay, if you're a huge fan of the My Little Pony manga style, uh, like I am, personally I am, um, this is what Sofiso said, but I am too. So anyway, um, the Papercraft book that use its art style is appearing uh, a strike it's apparently started shipping out to pre-orders victor over on the twitters has already received his and a few others are reporting the same so yeah let, let's check it out let's check it out so um a brief oh here's where you can get the paper craft book well, for eleven dollars okay so anyway, um if you got no idea what paper craft is. It's basically uh, taking uh, paper, uh, cutting them or folding them. In this case, um, it's pre-cut. All you need to do is punch it out and fold them in a way where you can create your ponies. Um, I have not seen more of this. Like, let's see. Um, the characters here are Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash. Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, Spike, Princess, Celestia, Luna, Keydance, Shining Armor, Starlight, Glimmer, Trixie, Big Mac, Jakura, Scootaloo, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and also Flurry Heart. And extra template to create your own pony style. Ah, that's cool. So, um, beyond this, I, I got no idea what more. This this is cool. I really like um, books like this. But the unfortunate part here is that um, once you punch it out, it's kind of one and done. So what you could usually do is photocopy and create more or get more of it. I mean, you, you did bought the book so you can copy it multiple times just so you can uh, keep this one while you have more in the future. But anywho, um, yeah, this is cool. 11 bucks and you get a lot more. Uh, this looks complicated. Um, yeah, uh, I, I got no idea how this is, but I do remember uh, this a while back that they did this before. Um, not in the manga style, but mostly in the traditional show style. So this is still good. This is still good. Uh, for 11 bucks? Yeah, fine, alright. Don't forget to scan them in and then you can get more. Yay. So let's move on to the next one. And yay! New fanfic book printing from the Mis Ministry of Image, the Enchanted Library. <clears throat> so yeah, an another book, another fanfic book being published. This is interesting. So yeah, um, let's see. Uh, the Ministry of uh, Image has absorbed another fanfic for their printed book version series uh, that is that so many of you have been collecting over the last few years this one comes in with, sorry this one comes in with ooh, two parts each around 500 pages along with the color illustration the amazing cover and that usually high quality soft touch lamination to hmm, uh, La lemonade, lemonade, mm. lemonation to make it feel super high end. All of this for sixty dollars. So yeah, uh, if you are a fan of fanfics, and I, I guess if you read this um, story, it's kind of cool. I actually wanted to read this fanfic, but kind of sidetracked, and I I don't know. I mean. I got sidetracked and kind of stopped. So yeah, um, the story is done by Monochromatic. Uh, it's the Enchanted Library. Uh, you can buy it over here. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, I, I think same like yes. So anyway, you can buy it over here for sixty dollars. Um, I'm not sure. Send this. This could be the. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, book info. Yay. Two volumes, two color covers, 20 color illustrations from Maxima, 512 
pages and 472 pages, I'm sorry, um, 512 and 472 pages of touch nomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, expect it to ship around April of 21. Other than that, if you don't have the cash to go buy the book, you can always go read it on Dreamfic. Um, uh, go hunt down for the Enchanted Library or Monochromatic on Fanfiction to get the well, um, fanfiction version of the or the web version of the book. Okay, uh, <coughs> but if you would like to support Monochromatic and also um, the Ministry of Image, you can also go buy the book. I wonder if they do international shipping. That is a good question. Probably they do. And last up on the list, new Konoa Kono we um Kino Kno Kno we dea Kno idea. Okay, uh, Japanese acrylic stand figure for friends for every extra struggle line. So this one is one of those things where what? <laughs> And here's the thing, um, these are laminated, uh, what's, sorry, it's acrylic standees that don't really do much. Uh, there's three volumes and they have all seven goals here. Uh, the first series is with Applejack and Fluttershy. Second series is with, I think second set mostly. But anyway, uh, it's Pinky Pie Twilight and Rainbow Dash. And third is... Rarity and Sunset. So, yay, uh, you can get them over here. I, I got no idea if you can. Oh, yeah, let's go click English. Yes, English to uh, have to click it and wait, what? It's already in English? Really? Wow. Okay. Um, uh, so. Okay, let's let's see how much this costs. Let's see how much this is going to cost you guys if you are interested in buying. So, one the full standee set is going to cost you about five thousand nine hundred and forty yen. Um, let me change the amount to the Japanese yen. Oh my god. Uh, give a second. Japan yen. Okay. So it's going to cost you about 5,940 yen and uh, dollars, please. Um, okay, uh, I'm using the built-in converter in the background. Sorry about that. So this is going to cost you about $57. Wow, that's expensive. Uh, that's for the full set, but if you're interested in one of the set girls, uh, it's going to cost you about 1,980 yen. That would be costing you guys on eh, about $19. Wait, what? Uh, $19.03. Give me a second. Um, I'm wondering why. Times 3 would be... Yeah, about the same amount. So, yeah. Um... If you are interested in getting this, this is one way to do it. Uh, if you've got no idea what this looks like or how this is going to turn up, I, I have one personally that I bought from a, um, I, I won't say fan, but I bought from a vendor booth during the Pony Con. I think so. And yay, this is how it, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go for the bigger cam. Um, Switch me, yes. Oh no. That, that explains a lot. Okay, uh, this one, yes. So anyway, uh, this is how an acrylic standee would look like. So it's basically this. It's really cool. Uh, you, you can put it anywhere you want, really. And then it'll make good desk decoration, probably. But yeah, um, you can buy it if you want. Uh, it's available. I, I don't think it's for pre-order, but it's available to get. 
So yeah, <coughs> hope you guys find it interesting because I did just don't have the cash. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So with all the movie theaters closed down, I can't do anything much. Video games cost a lot, so I don't have the cash to buy them. But I have been doing a bit of um, cleaning here and there. You, you can clearly see that my quote unquote office is not looking spicy. So I, I really need to get it spruced up. So that's one thing I really need to do. Other than that, uh, let's see. Um, a bit of Magic the Gathering. Uh, seems that things are clear now to head out to the local game store to have a tournament so yay that's fun but other than that um nothing much uh, like nothing new in terms of entertainment and stuff um but what i do really want to watch in terms of entertainment and stuff is i i really want to watch lupin the third the 3d animated movie so that seems like a fun movie to go watch um, I, I know it came out last year so I'm trying to see if I can watch it at home should be fun should be fun before the whole pandemic and stuff um, all the movie theaters are closed until the 31st of November so yeah a lot of good people who work at the cinema are twiddling their thumbs doing probably nothing I'm sure they have jobs extra somewhere so we will have to wait and see. But this year's for movie has been really, really bad. Like a lot of brouhaha is going on. I mean, we all know the pandemic is taking a toll in on the entertainment industry, or well, at least the mainstream entertainment industry, because uh, people who like you guys at home and also myself, we watch stuff online. We, we watch via the YouTube. Hulu and so on. Netflix, yes, don't forget about Netflix. So yeah, um, those are always an option for us to go watch. Other than that, um, yeah, nothing much. <sighs> but uh, getting back on track, um, right now, um, things have been going fine for me. Um, I, 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 it, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I know you guys at home. Um, are not asking about how I'm doing or not. If if you do, I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, but other than that, um, Patreon's available. Uh, if you want to help me, that's a way to do it. Yay. But uh, um, let let's wrap it up because um, uh, I'm beginning to ramble. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at ifshowgmail.com. You can also catch us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at NBS Show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, uh, you can also catch us on the Stitcher Radio, yes. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonysLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, and Tutera reviewing the Pony Episodes comics special, and well, whatever tickles our fancy. Usually, we we like to talk about stuff. We 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 are into <laughs> uh, cartoons and whatnot. Yay! Uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com/slash/MBSShow. If you ever support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Uh, talking about <laughs> talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So yeah, um, you're probably wondering what's with the mask since I'm doing this at home and whatnot, or quote unquote my office. Well, I haven't shaved. I I'm too lazy to <laughs> um to kind of shave my mustache and beard. Uh, boo. So. Um, let me just put this on so you guys don't have to see the mess that I have under here. So anyway, I have been Roman Sanzo. I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Media Show and... Peace.
Gracias.